Casimiro and Bruno Fernandes are on fire and yesterday they went ahead to gate their teams into the round of 16 that is Brazil and Portugal respectively. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Rock and David is my name and do the needful smash the like button comment and share and if you're watching us for the very first time lower right bottom corner that's the place to be smash the red button that has our subscribe and after hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time I upload a video onto the channel and that is United Matters channel. Remember we hit 9,000 subscribers like two days ago and we are now wanting to hit 10,000 subscribers meaning that we are left with 900 because we are soon hitting 9,100 100 subscribers meaning that 900 to go and I know you guys are really going to see us hit or reach that 10,000 family by the end of this year. Now yesterday two games we have two games of football are played Brazil played and won against Switzerland by one goal to nil scored by Casimiro and Bruno Fernandes scored a brace in the game where Portugal beat Uruguay by two goals to nil in a very dramatic way somehow some way especially for that penalty that gave Portugal a two goal lead and Bruno Fernandes went ahead to bat it home and he scored his second goal in the World Cup now allow me throw you some facts that really happened that game of football of Portugal first then we are going to go in and we talk about Casimiro I'm talking about Bruno Fernandes right about now Bruno Fernandes has the most goals slash assists in the World Cup at four only equaled by Kylian Mbappe. You see the levels that this guy is really setting. I've always come out and told people that Bruno has shown that he's going to be the next leader of the Portuguese national team. Whatever Ronaldo doesn't do, it's Bruno that goes ahead to do it. In the game they played against Ghana, he put up two assists, one for Joao Felix and the other for, for Rafael Yao. He would have even registered a third one if at all Ronaldo had converted that that chance that he really gave him he released him around that 15 minute minute of the game and Ronaldo couldn't be the goalkeeper of Ghana but Bruno Fernandes is looking on fire three as two assists and two goals in two games that shows how far Bruno can go ahead and really help Portugal to the next level and this is something that Portugal has been missing for a very very long time in its squad everything that Portugal has done and not done has been relying on Ronaldo other players were not we are not lifting or raising to the occasion but right now Bruno Fernandes is the other player that has come out and raised to the occasion how is he raising to the occasion scoring and creating goals that is something extraordinary that Portugal really lacked even the days when they really had the figures the Edgar Davids they had the um, who else they had very many good players they they always relied on Luis Figo only. That's why it took them a lot of time to win to win a tournament title until in 2016 when they won the Euros. So that's why he came out and really tipped Portugal to go on and compete for the World Cup. Because if you're relying on Ronaldo only, you can't win the World Cup. That's it. That's it. But if at all you're having a Bruno Fernandes who makes other players look better and good for you, then you are good to go and you are good to make lots of things happen for a team which goes by the names of Portugal. Now, we've been told by Opta Analytic that Bruno Fernandes has scored seven goals in 11 games for Portugal in 2022, at least twice as many as any other Portuguese player so far this year. So it shows you that he's the top scorer of Portugal this year and he has scored very many goals for them. Remember, even in their game they played against Nigeria, he came out and scored a brace in that game of football. In the only 45 minutes, he scored a brace. So I believe Bruno is going to announce himself as one of the best players that Portugal has ever had. Now, what does this mean to Manchester United? It means that we are really having a very good, good, good player. And we should be happy for Bruno to see to it that he's scoring and really creating assists. This is the Bruno that really came in at Manchester United. You know him very well. Putting in assists and obviously putting in what we call goals. So if he's scoring goals for Portugal and putting in assists, that means by the time he returns, when we are playing a team which goes by the names of Nottingham in the Premier League, he's going to be so much fundamental for all to United in this season. And this is where you want to see Bruno. And if at all he lifts himself to that level, just know the likes of Anton Martial, Marcus Rashford and Anthony are going to have a blast of a game at Manchester United because Bruno can 
average 15 assists a season and 15 goals a season, meaning that every season Bruno can have a tally of 30 goal involvements. That is something great for Manchester United and this is why I had to come out and redo this story that what does this mean to Manchester United that Bruno is firing in and obviously Casimiro is also firing in. So his name, his game by numbers was as follows yesterday. That is Bruno Fernandes. He had 84% passing accuracy, 83 touches, 5 out of 6 long balls completed, 3 ground duels won, 3 shots on target, 2 goals and obviously, he was the man of the match, and all those stats were compiled by Start Monday. So that's why I was talking about Bruno Fernandes. If he's doing like that, then United fans should be excited about this lad. He is really doing a very, very great job, and he helped his side to go through to the round of 16. And I believe he's the best player for Portugal, and he's going to be the best player for Portugal this World Cup. No one is going to match him. No one is going to match him. He's different. He's not selfish. He looks out for the better pass. And that goes to the coming of Eric Ten Hag and how far he's going to have to improve this player. Remember, in the Euros, Maurizio Mourinho even forced the manager of Portugal to bench, to bench Bruno out of the starting eleven because he couldn't know what to do at what particular period of time. Then he was taken out. But guess who comes in through? It's Eric Ten Hag coming in through and really making him a better player. That is what we are benefiting from Eric Ten Hag. For Casemiro in the 83rd minute, he went ahead to put up to put Brazil in a comfortable lead because they had everything right, but they couldn't score. The Ekanjis of this world had made it hard for Brazil to find themselves on target. Guess what happened? In the 83rd minute, Vinicius Jr. combined well with Rodrigo. Rodrigo went in for a flick that fall in Casemiro. Casemiro never even controlled that ball, but he went in for a volleying effort into the <coughs> into the wide area of the goal and obviously it went in the back of the net to make it 1-0 for team which goes by the names of Brazil. Casemiro is really world class. And this is a message I want to pass out to all the players, all the, the supporters in the Premier League. You might not love him, you might not hate him, but believe it, he's the best CDM in the world. And United are really having him. It's a position that has not been occupied a lot, or a position that has been lacking a lot at Manchester United. And finally, we've gone ahead to get in Casemiro, and he's doing wonders for a side which goes by the names of Manchester United. And kudos to Eric Ten Hag and whoever was involved in this deal of signing Casemiro to come in at Manchester United to get the job done. He's really doing a very good job at Manchester United. And obviously, when you see him firing in at Brazil, it sends really a very good message to you that we are really having a better midfield. When you look at Ericsson, now he's playing at Denmark, Casemiro, and obviously Bruno Fernandes, you just pray to it that these players don't get injured after the World Cup. They rest for seven days. They come up and play and play against Nottingham Forest because we need them. And with them in that midfield three, obviously we see everything going on as planned for a side which goes by the names of Manchester United. So this guy was on fire and this was his game by numbers. But before all that, let me first show you this start that has been really put out for Casemiro in this game of football. That was Casemiro's first ever goal, all World Cup goal, to qualify Brazil for the knockout stages, meaning that for the very many World Cups, I think three World Cups, that Casemiro has gone ahead to play for Brazil, he had never scored a goal for Brazil. But he scored one yesterday that was important to sit them through to the round of 16. And obviously, they are really going to face either Portugal. I think they won't force Portugal because Portugal is going to top the group and Brazil is going to top their group, meaning that they'll either face Uruguay or Ghana, according to me, or South Korea. So Brazil is also going to be having another easy path through to the quarterfinals. I believe they are going to be having a very clear way, and no one is going to stop Brazil. I believe Brazil, Portugal, and Argentina, those teams are going to be unstoppable into this World Cup because I tipped them to see to it that one of those goes out to win the World Cup. Now, let me. I want to show you Casemiro's game by numbers. This 
Wolves, Casimiro's game by numbers versus Switzerland, 85% passing accuracy, 61 touches, 41 passes completed, 4 interceptions, 2 out of 3 long balls completed, and he had 1 goal scored for Brazil. That's all Brazil winning. This is something great for all Manchester United fans all over the world. When our players are really doing great, especially those ones that are really so much important and pivotal, it's really important to see to it that these players go ahead and really do the needful to like to keep up the speed going in the World Cup and that means when they return the momentum will be high to let a team which goes by the names of Manchester United compete for the trophy. I believe we can go ahead and really put in a very huge resistance because we are having good players and if at all we are back in the January transfer window, no way we are not going to see ourselves going to the levels of competing as a team of Manchester United getting us to back to the glory days now that is casimiro and obviously him and bruno fernandez were crowned the man of the match for the games they played casimiro was named the man of the match and obviously you see him holding that trophy that was given to him as the man of the match and obviously bruno fernandez also went ahead to win the man of the match award of the game of Brazil, sorry, of Portugal versus the side which goes by the names of Uruguay, a game that wouldn't have been easy. But in that game of Uruguay too, there is a United player that really came out and really put up a very huge performance, and that is Facundo Pelestri. Facundo Pelestri came up and played just 30 minutes, but obviously Facundo Pelestri played the last half hour against Portugal, New Uruguayan player has made more key passes than him. He made two key passes, but obviously he looked to direct in that game of football, obviously looking for looking for a way to find himself in the position of either getting into the starting level of Manchester United or finding a permanent deal out of Manchester United, as his agent told us before this game of football really went ahead, before this tournament of the World Cup started in all on the 20th of November and that means we are into nine days ever since or ten days ever since the World Cup started. Now today, for those that are really going to watch the World Cup, it's going to be closing. It's the closure of the Group A and Group B games whereby Netherlands is going to play Qatar, Senegal is going to play, is going to play Ecuador. If Senegal is to qualify, they need to go out and win what we call they need to go out and win what we call they need to go out and win what we call <coughs> they need to go out and win what we call the team which goes by the names of Ecuador. It's not going to be an easy game, but Netherlands are going to beat Qatar. That's seen. It's seen all over. Then England has to beat Wales to top the group to be sure that they're topping the group. Obviously, to see to it that they don't face Netherlands. And if at all they top the group, they'll face either Ecuador or a team which goes by the names of Senegal. Then the other match is between is between USA and um, it's USA. USA and Iran. I believe USA might be the team that is going to be joining that is going to be joining England into that group B to see to it that they are going to face Netherlands in the round of sixteen. So those are the two groups that are closing in today. The first game kicks starts off at eighteen hours Central African Standard African time. And obviously we'll be here letting you know what the rest of the results will be. And if at all you really want to see much more about the World Cup updates, go on to the Rokani Media Football YouTube channel, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to enable you get notified every time for a video onto that channel. So that's what I had for you this morning. Casimiro and Bruno Fernandez on fire because they really fired their teams into the round of 16 in a very spectacular style that everyone would love to see them at when they return at Manchester United. But I believe they are going to to try to to transfer their form they've been having in the World Cup to Manchester United as we play Nottingham and other teams like Burnley in there for you. So your reactions are welcome to Casimiro and Bruno Fernandez on fire in the comment section below. First video of the day, more videos are yet to come. We're going to talk about Casido. We are talking about Jude Bellingham in the next video and very many other updates coming in from 
what we call the transfer gurus as far as United is concerned. Rock and David is my name. I hand you over to the Almighty Lord to brighten your day. Um, I